them play. Tonight, Let frustrations over reopening Let schools deepening Let in California, play. triggering protests Let among parents and even fueling comments made by school board members caught on a hot mic. Are we alone? Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to call me out, I'm going to you up. <laughs> For several minutes, a board of trustees with the Oakley Union Elementary School Board could be heard criticizing parents. It's really unfortunate that they want to pick on us because right. they want their babysitters back. The discussion abruptly cuts off when the group realizes they had a live audience. Oh, we have the meeting open to the public right now. A viewer recorded the meeting and uploaded it to YouTube, sparking swift backlash among parents who demanded the members involved step down. It is shocking to our community and it really damaged the trust that we thought we had with our board. The board president was the first to resign, calling her comments callous and uncalled for. And overnight, the rest followed suit, issuing an apology, writing in part, we realize it is our responsibility to model the conduct that we expect of our students and staff, and it is our obligation to build confidence in district leadership. Our comments failed you in both regards. The school reopening struggles span the country. Last month, Dr. Anthony Fauci was hopeful that kids could get vaccinated starting late spring. On Friday, he adjusted the schedule. We will likely get information for high schoolers at some time in the fall, but it is, I would say, more than unlikely we will not have data on elementary school children until at least the first quarter of 2022. A pushback timeline as a pandemic stretches on. Kathy Park, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.